Kurdish militants took over Iraq's embassy in Brussels. They scrawled a swastika on a portrait of Saddam Hussein, smashed windows, and raised the flag of Kurdistan. When police prepared to storm the building, they gave up. Push! Stop your boy! Push! Stop your boy! In London, the Kurdish cries of outrage continued. At the U.S. Embassy, more than 100 gathered to plea for help to stop what one sign termed the slaughter of the Kurds. They bombed us before and the world was silent. Now they are massacring people. They are slaughtering babies. They question why the United States encouraged their revolt but won't offer military assistance. How can they help go and help Kuwaitis and not us? We're human beings as well. And there are thousands of, thousands of families, my relatives and everything. They are dying. What we are seeing, and you already know, you have some two to three million Kurds who are on the march to nowhere, perhaps to their peril. Reports from the region tell of Kurds fleeing the cities to get away from Iraqi troops, who they say are carrying out a revenge campaign that includes crushing civilians with tanks. We are in mountains without no food, without no clothes. The, the temperature is under, under zero. And they, they don't have any so, and they are, they are frightened of helicopters to kill them. If help doesn't come soon, they say, there will be genocide. Meantime, the British Foreign Office issued a statement condemning the attacks by Saddam Hussein's forces on the Kurdish people. It was termed a human atrocity. But a statement was far from enough to satisfy these people. They took their case to the woman who brought Britain into the war against Iraq, former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, who sympathized with their cause. It's not the first time terrible things have happened to the Kurds. What they want, they want warmth, they want food, they want shelter, they want medicines. They're right up near the Turkish border. It should not be beyond the wit of man to get planes there with tents, with food, and with warm blankets and warm clothes. The people want it, they need it. And I think we should take very firm steps. It's not a question of standing on legal niceties. This is a real mercy mission. They need help, and they need it now. She then called number 10 Downing Street, which said it is providing humanitarian assistance. Stop the genocide in Kurdistan! But these cries for help are unlikely to stop until the safety of their people in Kurdistan is guaranteed. Rick Salinger, CNN, London.